Our objective is to create a functional YouTube channel, video search engine optimized, the important areas filled in, and overall looking great. Then we will add one of our most watched pre-op videos, hand washing, watched millions of times and the basis for all patient education. You can freely download and freely use hand washing in your new YouTube channel as the beginning of your patient engagement journey. Let's create the YouTube account. Log into your Gmail account and open the Google search page. Let's find the small tiny boxes on the top right hand corner and click on them. And now click onto YouTube. It may ask us to sign in again, so let's just do that. Gmail sign in. I'm going to my generic profile icon. Click on it and then click on my channel. You are now formally creating a YouTube channel. Locate the link at the bottom of the paragraph and click it and select the white box as well. It's time to create the name of your new channel. I'm going with Our Practice. Click on Create. The next step is to go to Customize Channel. All this just means that we can make our channel look pretty. If you want to upload a profile picture, you click on this pencil icon. Click on Edit. It will redirect you to this page and then you need to click on Upload Photo. So for my profile picture, I'm just going to use our pre-op logo and click Upload. OK, let me refresh and see if it will pop up. If it hasn't popped up, usually it will after a couple of minutes to an hour. So don't panic if you don't see it. And done. OK, now the next step is to upload a channel art picture. Let's find the small tiny boxes. Click onto YouTube. Let's get back to the top right, select the profile picture, and click My Channel. Yes, we have our profile picture next to our channel name, but we want more. Select Customize Channel. Looks good. Let's add some more artwork. Let's upload the channel's art picture. Select Add Channel Art. Again, there are specifications for this artwork. Select a photo from your computer. I like to use photos that are overexposed and out of focus in this case. I use overlay graphics like a title, the logo of your practice, and all the little icons we're going to create shortly. What we're looking at now is your artwork on different sized devices. If something doesn't look right, you're going to have to go back and rework your original channel art file. And to be honest, I usually have to flip back and forth three or four times until it's just right. Keep on uploading and working on it. Once you're happy, click Select. It's saving. And here you go, it looks great. See how your profile picture pops out? Okay, let's add some more important stuff. For instance, select links. Let's get a channel description. It's good to add information here that informs people what your channel is about. Start typing or draft a document and paste it. Select Done. Next, an email address for business inquiries. I like to use info at preop.com. Let's pick a location. 
in my case, the United States, and add it. Now we are ready to add links to your channel. These show up as little icons over the channel art. Your first link should be the most important, your website or a call to action page. As you save your social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you will see the icons building up. And when you scroll up the page, you will see these icons across the channel art. A couple of more steps and we will be ready to upload our first video. Find feature channels on the right and add a channel. Begin by selecting a title, in this case, pre-op video series. Then you have the opportunity to bring in channels that you already own and or channels that are of interest, an association that you belong to, or a government resource agency like the CDC. It dresses up your channel and builds online connections and authority. Find Video Manager and click it. Locate the little camera on the upper right hand corner and click Upload Video. Click the pull down menu of the privacy settings. I'm going to use unlisted. Then click the big arrow and we're ready to go. I will link you to the free pre-op video hand washing for download. Locate your first video and open it. Wheels are in motion. Let's begin by creating the title. There is a spell checker. In this case it's wrong. I will give you a description for this video, which is Video Search Engine Optimized, VSEO. On the first line, add the title you created. On the next line, add a URL to your website or a call to action page. Do not forget the HTTP or HTTPS on the front of the URL. Let's add some VSEO tags in the tag area. I just posted these from a text document. I'll have something for you as well. And now click done. Translations are yet another video, but we will talk about advanced settings. First up, select the language, in this case, English. And community contributions, allow users to contribute translated titles, descriptions, and subtitles. Recording date, today. Next, caption certification. I choose this content has never aired on television in the United States. There's other stuff on this page, but we hit the most important material. Save changes, and we're done. Just waiting for the video thumbnails. Here we go. Of the three, I like the middle one. Click on your choice and find it featured on the top. Let's build a playlist to manage your pre-op videos. Add a descriptive name. By selecting Create, your hand washing video becomes part of this playlist. Let's go live. We're going to switch from unlisted to public. That's it. This little section will auto post to Twitter and Google Plus when connected. Please note how this was created. It's the top portion of this video's description. It also includes pertinent hashtags. Google now allows you to add these to your YouTube video. You'll see what it looks like shortly. On the top of the page, you will find your sharing options. These work well if you want to do a quick share. I tend to use a scheduling broadcast application. A great option is just to cut and paste the URL for your emails and other networks. I always like to check it out to see exactly what comes up. Let's see what your audience clients will see. 
Remember the hashtags? They lie just underneath the video frame. Then we have the URL we added in the description. Okay, let's go full frame and watch a bit of your free pre-op hand washing video. Throw away the paper towel. Use a new paper towel to dry your hands completely. Then throw it away. If soap and water are not available, you may use alcohol-based waterless hand sanitizers. Thanks so much for your time and please comment on this tutorial.